There are so many skincare brands, right? Do you know when you go to the drugstore and you stand there and you're like, what on earth do I buy? Today, I'm gonna diverse for you some skincare brands and I'm gonna rate them exactly from the holy grail right down to what I believe is pure trash. Just watch me now. Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. I'm Nurse Sarah Louise and I'm gonna take you on a little spin like I've done previously and I'm gonna show you exactly what you should be spending your hard earned cash on and where you should be getting the most efficacy out of your ingredients. So this has actually been really important to me because now I walk into a drugstore, I can't use a lot of medical grade skincare. So I'm having to look at all the ingredients, I'm having to look at the prices and realistically dive through these and think what on earth is actually decent if I can't use that high grade Abaji brands that I used to use. Number one, you've probably seen all the ads all over the TVs. You've got loads of doctors, loads of dermatologists really backing this brand now, Sera V. But for good reason. It is really jam packed full of ceramides. It's got really nice pH balance. And one thing I've noticed since I've really looked on those high street shelves is the range they now have. They literally have blemish prone skin, aged skin, dehydrated skin, sensitive skin. They're really Really making sure that they can accommodate everybody within these skin conditions. What I really found remarkable was the fact they're bringing out retinols to show that now they're working into the anti-aging concept because we know everyone wants to anti-age. We know that's a skin condition. People often forget about that and think, I have to have acne, I have to have rosacea. We are all aging and every single one of you is going to get that condition, unfortunately. So the retinol for me was a bit of a game changer. I will say is that they've now put colors on all of their products. I love this, right? You know, the green acne range, which really helps you diverse through the salicylic and make sure that you're not going into the blue range. I love that they've done this. They've made it super easy, super grab worthy. And also the price of this is relatively low, which makes it really accessible to most people. It's between eight pound, which is about $10, and it ranges no more than $40 per item. This is incredible. And don't forget, purely because ingredients are really nice, good efficacy, they're tailoring to all different demographics, and price point is really favorable. The sizes can be massive. You can get 250 to 500 mils. I mean, that's gonna last quite a while. Really good bang for buck. I am actually gonna place this, guys, in the holy grail. Number two is Neutrogena. Now, the only reason for this is that I've kind of grown up with Neutrogena, right? If you're in my era, you would have seen this everywhere. And we had the good old blackhead strips, we had the good old face scrubs. Now, the only problem with a lot of their products is they're really highly fragranced. One thing I dislike when I'm looking at skin and I'm treating skin is to make sure that we have low irritants, low emollients, and low surfactants. Unfortunately, this smells quite pretty. It has got a lot of alcohols in it, and I feel like that can irritate the skin. However, most people now are really educated. They want something out of their skincare. They know if they're buying a product, they want it to work. They do have the salicylic acid range, which I was quite surprised about, and I like that range. Let's chat about price point. It is low. I mean, you're going to pick these up from £7, about $8, and probably up to around $20 maximum. So, Neutrogena, you are trash. I am sorry. Goodbye. All right, guys. Next up is La Roche Posay. Now, I hear this brand everywhere. A lot of my patients come in, they're already using it, and it's actually in a lot of pharmacies now. I do beg to differ with La Roche Posay. They have made the SPF really well. I do like their SPF, and it's really good for sensitive skin. I do like the fact that they've got niacinamides. They have brought in a vitamin C into the product, and actually, they are using a little bit more active which is nice, they're trying. So I think these guys have nailed the solution in terms of avoiding that gap for patients or people that generally may not wanna spend the budget on medical grade skincare, but people like me, pregnant, and we can't use the medical grade skincare. I will say La Roche-Posay, with your price points, with your ingredients, I would say you are definitely good enough, but you're definitely in my eyes not the holy grail. So guys, next up is Aven, 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 apostrophe. It's French and my husband's French, like full French. How do I not know how to speak this yet? I'm so freaking bad and I need to make more effort, but I do like the packaging of this. Oh my gosh. I love what it looks like. It's so pretty, really aesthetic and I love the colors, but 
There is one item in their products that I do love and they rate their products based off this amazing spring water from the south of France. But besides the great wine, they must obviously have really good spring water because they have this amazing spray and it's like a hydrating mist. We use it here after laser. It is amazing. It has really got nothing in it, no irritants, nothing that's gonna set the skin off and it's really, really hydrating for the hot weather without making you feel tacky. Now, the one thing I like about this brand is they have bought the baby range out. And obviously these are things I look at now as a mother and having a new baby is what is can I put on my baby's skin? They pride themselves on really natural, emollient, sensitive range. They don't actually step into more of the skin condition range. And I do believe that this is probably not going to be ideal if anyone has any type of acne, any rosacea or any pigmentation. But the price range is favorable. It is low. You can pick it up from six quid, seven dollars, and it ranges up to under twenty dollars. But as far as skincare goes, I would probably put that into trash for skincare. I know that's really horrible. Next up, guys, is Vichy skincare brand. I mean, this one I do like. And besides the fact that it comes from this pure spring water from volcanoes, which I find really interesting, they've actually formulated some really nice ingredients. They've managed to put in some AHAs, which is your glycolic, and your lipids as well. So this is nice that they've actually kind of stepped outside and thought about those more aged skin types. Packaging is just flawless, by the way. I love this brand. The branding, it's on point. I do like the price point of it, but because they have actually put some niacinamides, they've put your B3s, they've actually thought about vitamin C, and they're utilizing really good sunscreens with the physical barrier, the price point actually reflects that quality. And although you might be thinking, you know, common drugstore on the high street that you're getting these from, 20 pounds to maybe 60 pounds, might be a little bit more expensive than the others. When you're dissecting through these ingredients on the shelf, keep it basic, keep it simple. These guys have done that for you. They've managed to put your exfoliator in with a cream to make it still be hydrating. I do like that about this brand. The other great thing about this is the Normaderm range. This is more for your skin types that are oily. I I love that they've stepped outside just kind of like the spa thermal feel and gone more down the path of helping people that actually have the skin conditions. In my eyes, I would actually put this up as the holy grail. The reason I would do this is although don't be put off by the price point, the active ingredients are there. Okay guys, so that's it for this segment of skincare and rating and tiering these just for you. Now, if you're using any of these skincare brands, can you let me know what you think of it? Am I right? Am I wrong? Have you had a better experience, a worse experience? Don't forget guys, you like and subscribe on this channel. We put a lot of effort into these videos. I am working pregnant for you, okay? This is hardcore. I am tired, but I'm getting up here and sharing the love of skincare. And I'll see you next time. Just watch me now. Just watch me.